Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Akabane101, and welcome back to some more For Honor. Today, I was originally going to do the Daily Order Triumphant Eliminator, but then I joined a match, and sure enough, it was already at the end of the match, and my team had two wins, and there was only one person alive on the other team, where there was four of us on our team. You can only imagine how that went. We managed to win. Surprising, right? But let's go ahead anyway and pretend that we don't have Triumphant Eliminator and join a deathmatch right here. Elimination is uh, an interesting mode because basically if you have three bad people and one very good person, you can still win the match, which is always very fun. Of course, that chance of winning as a single person is a lot more difficult than, say, in a duel, where all you have to rely on is your own personal skill to, uh, to win the match. And of course, uh, when anyone ever dies in elimination, uh, things can go horribly awry very quickly if your teammates are not getting executions or guarding bodies as they die, because that's uh, pretty much a very important aspect of elimination. And of course, we get our first error of the day, which is always amazing. All I want is uh, for Ubisoft to make a game that doesn't rely on peer-to-peer -peer and shoddy uh, servers, man. That'd be... oh, that, that'd be the day. I'm wondering if Rainbow Six Siege still runs on peer-to-peer. -peer. I hope not. I hope not. But let's go ahead, join on into it, see what's gonna happen. Of course, we get a Nazi symbol uh, for one of our out... one of our enemies, rather. Deus Volt. Alright then. Not gonna worry about it. Don't even care. I swear, I've, uh, I've come across quite a few quote-unquote offensive emblems. Nazi symbols, penises, penis butts, dick butts, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> all the weird shit, man. It is, uh, it is all over the place. Anyway, you will see on the bottom of the screen there, I do have a controller input. I am, of course, using the PS4 controller, but we're playing the PC version of the game. Uh, thankfully, For Honor does automatically detect if you have a PS4 controller plugged into your computer, or if you're using an Xbox controller or Xbox Elite controller. Uh, I'm quite a big fan of the uh, PlayStation 4 controller. Uh, I think it's a giant leap ahead of the PlayStation 3 one, which is fantastic. Because the PlayStation 3 one, if you compare it, if you compare the two, uh, the PS3 controllers were really tiny, and you don't notice it until you've held like a PS4 controller or you've been messing around with a 360 or Elite controller. Because uh, for the most part, uh, the PS4 controller just fits my hand perfectly. I just, I'm really happy with it. Alright, round number one, best of five. Thankfully, we're not joining in the m end of a match, and we're going to be against a Conqueror first thing. Alright, let's see how it goes. He's going to run in with a charge, obviously, because what else do Conquerors do, right? Alright, here we go. Incoming infinite chain, possibly. You never know. He's not going to spin up his weapon, I guess. Which is a little bit of an odd choice, because he gets a free counter if I decide to attack him. Problem about uh, Conquerors, they take forever to kill. And they can kill you very, very quickly. There we go. There we go. Here he comes. Fun, fun. What? You're trying to run from me? Alright. He's gonna get the boots, too. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, he's not gonna get the boots. Alright, fine. And I will be- I will admit that whenever I'm chasing someone, I always have a difficult time. So I'm not currently guarding the body, I just hope that none of the orange team decides to revive that conqueror, although it's probably gonna happen. I'm not really sure where they're fighting- okay, there they are. We're good. Unless someone pings, you're just gonna have a little bit of a difficult time here. Of course, you got a little scared. Now, whenever you see an enemy go into revenge like this, you wanna grab them repeatedly, because then they can't do much. Of course, if he's going to be trying to counter you. There we go. There you go. Oh, shit. The range of that move is kind of ridiculous. There we go. You want to keep control of the situation, especially if you're against someone that has revenge. Because if, uh, if they go in revenge, they can easily take out your whole team. But once they're in revenge, a lot of enemies like to just kind of spam their uh, area attacks, which, you know, is fair enough. Why not? Okay, now we're near an edge here. 
So we gotta be very careful about that. He really likes that spin move. He's like, good thing I have my spin move. There we go. Good to good thing to know the Nazi doesn't actually know how to fight. So that's always a good thing. Always good, always good. He didn't use his Blitzkrieg technique, you know? They messed him up. Get him! Beautiful. Alright, so we do have a dead blue on our side, unfortunately. But we do have two of their enemies completely... Oh, hello. Completely taken care of. He's probably gonna go for the shield. You know what? I'll let... No, he's not gonna go for the shield. I'm very confused by this Conqueror, man. Oh, he's gonna knock me off the side. Oh, we're good. We're good, we're good. Oh, there we go. I'm falling off the side. Whee! <laughs> oh, I survived! Thank God for armor. Oh my God, armor too strong. Please nerf. Oh man, that almost did two full health bars. That's pretty good. Well played, armor. <laughs> well played. Okay, okay, so now we get to fight the, uh, the warden. That's one nice thing about the uh, elimination mode. All right, let's see here. I see. Going for the grab, huh? I see how it is. Oh! -ho! Well, oh, you're dead. See you later, warden friend. Tink, tink. All right, one of our allies is out for the count. Well, actually, that's not true. I can come revive him. I love spawning near the boots because then I can go revive all my friends. Oh, he was thrown off the side. Whenever someone dies here, they were thrown off the side. Little uh, ridge up there. They love that shit. Let's go ahead and uh, reduce their defense. All right, we're against a little cheesy uh, conqueror here. It's all good, though. I don't think he knows how to block. <laughs> oh, this guy's dead. There you go. That was a foolish move. Okay, if I, I'm just gonna camp here and wait for my friends to find... Oh, I think actually someone's fighting over here. Yeah. And we still have boots, thankfully enough. Stop him there, and he's out for the count. Beautiful. I think the Bloodborne music helped me, alright guys? Bloodborne music too strong, okay? <laughs> and there you go, there's our win. So just pretend that we won an order there. Uh, legitimately, eight takedowns, zero deaths, four boosts, because I love my boosts, man. They're so good. They save you from falling to your death. That's amazing. And we hit level four, reputation level 14, rather. I can't count, of course. And we got a couple items here. Where they are? Where are they at? Uh, we got debuff resistance, eh, not very good. And then the biking arms, also not very good, because I already have the purple ones. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video here. And if you did... I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. Take care, guys.